Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my working clock. Now, if you want a little bit more in-depth thing on this clock, uh, I'll leave a link to the video in the description below. This will show going around the whole roundabout, but I'm not going to be doing that. However, I did make a lot of change. Well, not a lot, but I made a change to this clock to make it so it works. When you go to bed, it resets. Now, that's the reason why I put that video up. I wanted to get some critique on it and maybe get some ideas from some people. And a lot of people said, you know, why don't you hook up a daylight day night or whatever daylight sensor to it so it resets itself and obviously to me i was like okay well how, but i figured out a way to use that and it actually works pretty great so what happens is there is 20 redstone lamps around this whole entire thing and there is 20 minutes inside of minecraft day it's 10 minutes during the day and 10 minutes during the night so let's go around the back and look at the redstone now it's a pretty simple thing now now this is my new add-on right here this is the add-on trust me it's not that bad but right in here where the red stain clay see where the red stain clay is that's our memory array and there is 20 blocks here that go around with a cauldron that activate comparators which will turn on the lights for each point of the day now right down here is the hopper timer this is pretty much the whole backbone of this entire build now i have 73 items in here it's like 0.7 seconds for every single item now i'll have a link to ethos video i did that in my last one which will pretty much show you how you could set up a hopper timer with the time each item is like 0.7 seconds uh 41 items is like 29.853 something like that seconds so that's already 0.1 seconds off because no matter what this is going to go off track this is going to all go off track eventually so right here i have now, now i add this on right here which will reset it when we go to bed so right up here i have a daylight sensor and then it's going to go down seven blocks with redstone it has to be seven blocks because that's the furthest it goes that's the perfect amount for when you switch it to daytime and this will activate pretty much just a redstone clock like it'll go around in a circle and then once it gets to the point where it's done resetting it will shut itself off so that's what i'm going to be showing right now so good thing it's going nighttime because now i'm going to show it so as you can see right here on the clock it's right there but if we go to bed so this is the newest thing I put on this clock and then I'm going to start building this thing. It's going to take a while to build this guys because I got to show you how to build the whole face on it as well. So as you'll see the lights will start going around. See how the lights moving? The lights moving all the way around until it gets all the way over to here and it resets to the time it is right now. So it's going. Come on. <laughs> I pretty much made it slow so it doesn't skip it. You don't want it to ever, you know, skip it and you, then it just keeps going around and around and around. It'll get very annoying. <laughs> and it is reset there we go <laughs> so now the clock is reset Re well the clock resets every time you go to sleep so you know you could turn on uh if you're like a creative builder or something like that you can turn on your daylight uh your daylight cycle or whatever you could turn it off it doesn't really matter uh whenever you want to turn it back on or something like that all you have to do is just wait till nighttime go to bed and the clock will reset itself every single time so you never have to worry about the clock being off track because all you have to do is sleep and it'll be right back on track so let's just start building this guys it's going to take a very long time to build this all right guys so what we're going to do now is build the face of the clock obviously you don't have to use these pixel arts you can use whatever you want to use but we're going to have to start building this face of the clock it's not a hard build whatsoever so pretty much what we're going to do is like you know figure out how how you want it to go into sky because we're going to start from the bottom up guys so we're going to start from the bottom of the clock up so i'm just going to go off one block off the ground like this like i said you can go as high as you want if you're putting this on a clock tower or you know on the side of a building it's not much redstone in there so pretty much what we're going to do is going to start off with a block right here i'm going to go three blocks to the left and bleed three blocks to the right so one two three and one two three so this is our middle block right here there are seven blocks right here so there's one two three four five six seven so keep that in mind next what we're going to do is go up right here off this corner block and then out two one two i used a different color just so you don't get confused and then we're going to delete this block right here and then we're going to do is go up one again so up and over one like that and do it again up and over one like that and one more time up and over one like that so it looks something like this we're going up three blocks out two and then out seven and then once we get up here we're going to come up a block and then out one and then up one like that and then we're going to do this seven again so put a block right here and go up seven so one two three four five six seven it's the same thing now over and over again guys so we got seven there and then over two up three up two and then up seven and we're going to do that the whole way around now guys so i'm just going to do it i'm going to do this very fast so over delete this block up two then one 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 
over two one two delete that block and then up seven so like that one two three four five six seven then we're gonna go over two one oops, one two delete this block down one so one 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 and then over two like this one two and then out seven one two three four oops, four five six seven and then we're gonna go over two one two one 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 and then one two should be the last one so one two and there we go we have the whole entire inside of the clock now you obviously like i said you can fill you can fill this with with what, whatever pixel art you want whatever kind of pixel art clock you want go ahead and fill it in now we're going to go ahead and put our lamps in so it's quite simple to put our lamps in all we have to do is starting from this middle block right here that i left right here we're going to put a lamp right here and then two lamps on the outsides of it so on every seven do that put three lamps like that on every single seven so one here one in the middle and one on the end same thing up here one here one on the middle and one on the end and one more time one here one in the middle and one on the end so that is 12 of our lights right now that is a total of 12 lights we have right now next what we're going to do are the outside lights very easy to do so all we really have to do is just you know delete this block and put a lamp here like that and do the same thing right here delete this block and put a lamp like that so the, where the three ones are delete the two outside ones and put lamps so right here and right here do the same thing over here right here and right here and one more time right here and right here so that should be all our 20 of our lamps you can go ahead and count them out if you want to but that is 20 lamps next what i want you to do is fill in the middle with whatever pixel art you want so i'm going to pretty much just skip this part of the video and then we're going to come back once i am done filling it in. i'm just going to do the same one i did over here without the pixel art in the middles all right guys so now i got my middle filled in as you can see i just did a blank slate on both of them now what we're going to have to do is find our middle block it's very easy to find your middle block just follow the bottom lamp or the top lamp and just drop all the way down until you hit the middle like that and then you can find the other middle by looking for the other lamp like this and like that so there we go that's my middle so we got to go from here with this lamp and it's going to match up with this lamp up here as well so that's our middle so find your middle block like that so what we're going to first start off by doing off that middle block right there is our memory array so we're going to swing onto the backhand side of our clock where all our redstone is going to be going and where our middle block is we're going to come out five blocks so one two three four five like that all right guys so now that we came out our five blocks we can go ahead and put our memory array in and now if you don't understand how the memory array works i'll give you a little crash course real quick now there are 20 lights here because there are 20 minutes but inside of minecraft day there's 10 minutes during the day and there is 10 minutes during the night so how many blocks do you think we need in our memory array to match up with 20. <laughs> we need 20 blocks in our memory array that that's pretty much how this thing is working guys so what we're going to do is come off the middle of our once we come out our five blocks we're going to come off this middle and we're going to come out three blocks from any side you really want to come out three blocks one two three delete these two and we're going to put five blocks here so from this middle block we're going to go up two one two and from this block we're going to come down to one two so we got five blocks right there so we're gonna have to do five blocks on each side so put a block here to the side delete this block and put five in again one two three four five come over one and down one delete this block right here and come down five one two three four five and then we're gonna come down one over one and we're gonna go over five one two three four five there we go so now we have 20 blocks right there however if you notice we don't have our cauldron in there and yes our cauldron is going to be 21 blocks but don't worry i got a way around that to make sure it's always going to be 20 blocks no matter what so where we're going to put our cauldron is right down here on the left hand side and put our water inside of it right here next what i want you to do is off your cauldron actually we're gonna to have to take out a water bottle well a glass bottle take out a glass bottle and take out two things of water from your cauldron so one and two there should only be one thing of water in there so we should have two uh water bottles inside our inventory because we took two out of the cauldron there has to be only one thing of water in there make sure you do that all right guys so next what we're going to do is put our pistons in so first we're going to come down here to this side with the cauldron 
and we're just going to come out one block and we're going to put a piston facing towards the cauldron like that delete that block and then over here what we're going to do is we're going to come down a block from this glass block right here and put a piston facing upwards like that then up here we're going to come out one from this glass block and put a piston facing inwards like this and then up here we're going to come up one block from this top of the glass block and face a piston downwards like that so now it will make a spiral motion so this piston will push that way this piston will push up this piston will push to the left and that piston will push down so now all we have to do is just add the redstone to make all these pistons extend every time it goes around a minute so what we're gonna do is come down here to this bottom left piston and come out a block like that we could delete this block it's not needed and we're gonna put a repeater going into that piston on one tick delay and then coming out of this cauldron right here i want you to put a block and put a well we're not going to put that yet just put a block out like this we're going to be putting a comparator there that's what's going to make it skip around that extra 20 first block so it makes it only 20 blocks the entire uh the entire roundabout next what i want you to do is come out from the back of this one tick delay repeater right here put some redstone dust come up a block like that and then come out a block like this and delete this block we're going to need this spacing later on so make sure you delete that block down there and then we're going to put a repeater going this way on four ticks delay put a block coming all the way down over to where this piston is and put a block up like that and then going into this piston right here we're going to put a block and a repeater going into the piston on one tick delay and then put redstone dust going all the way down these blocks we just did from that four tick delay repeater then right on top of this block we're going to put a torch then we're going to put a block torch block torch and block and then we're going to put a torch going this way the torch should go off then we're going to put a piece of redstone dust coming out of this off torch going into this piston and then off this side we're going to put another torch going this way the torch will go off take blocks from this on torch going all the way down to where this piston is come up a block going towards the piston then coming out of this off torch we're going to put a repeater on four ticks delay and then put redstone dust going all the way down and going into this piston right here so that should make the whole thing circulate so if i go ahead and put a button let me take out a button real quick and we put it on this block right here and we click the button it pushes it all the way around see how i went all the way around i'll do it again perfect so we want it to be doing this guys and don't work don't it doesn't matter where this cauldron is because when we sleep off the night when we sleep off the night at the end of the video it's just going to reset everything all right guys so the next part we're going to put our comparators coming out of our memory array to activate our lights so we're going to come right back over here and we're going to start with the bottom ones the bottom ones are the easiest so what i want you to do is right off this line of five blocks that are at the bottom of your memory array we're going to come underneath them and out a block like this and then just put a row of five blocks here so one two three four five like that and then we're going to put comparators coming out of every single one of these blocks the one comparator in the middle will come on due to this cauldron right here so we're going to put five comparators one two three this one comes on due to the cauldron four five like that then we're going to come up next to the comparators by putting a block here and then over here we're going to put a block up right next to this comparator and put comparators coming out of these blocks right here so put a comparator here Oop. and put a comparator here coming out of the blocks then off the top of this piston we're going to put a block with a comparator coming out this way then above this comparator we're going to put a block with the comparator coming out here then right off this one we're going to put another block with a comparator coming out of this one and then off the top block right here we're going to put another block with another comparator like that so pretty much we're just going to go up with the comparator because we have to have a comparator come out of every single block because like i said remember there are 20 lights and there are 20 blocks well there's 21 blocks so this block right here is the only one that won't matter but there is 20 blocks one two three four five 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 so each one of these glass blocks has to activate one of our lights so we're going to need 20 comparators coming out of each one of these glass blocks to activate our lights now we just put in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of them and then we're going to do the same thing like we did down here up here we're going to come out five like right here there we go and one two three four five and we're going to put comparators coming out of every single one of these glass blocks and we're going to do the same thing like we did over here i'm just going to do it from the bottom though because i feel like that's the easiest so we're going to make that same little uh comparator line like we did over here right over here now right off this block we're going to put a block with a comparator coming out of it then right above this comparator we're going to put a block with a comparator coming out of it then right above this one we're going to put a block with a comparator coming out of it and one more time we're going to have to put a block with a comparator coming out of it. So that should be 20 comparators coming out of every single one of these blocks. You can go ahead and count them if you want to. See one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So 20 comparators, 20 lights, 20 blocks in your memory array. It's all math, guys. It's math. So next, what we're going to do is hook up every single comparator to each individual light. So before we do that, what I like to do is take out your block that you used around your whole entire clock and just put it around it one more time. So come off the back and we're going to go all the way around it just one more time. This is to make sure that it's completely hidden by the redstone. The reason why I did this, I made it so none of the redstone pokes out of your clock. It will stay this size no matter what when you go around the whole entire you, you get it whatever <laughs> i'm just gonna confuse myself saying stuff it, it gets confusing like having to uh, explain how some of this stuff works when you know exactly how it works but we're gonna go ahead and go around the whole entire thing with an extra thing of blocks next what i want you to do is take out your redstone and find every single lamp so right here is a lamp so we're gonna put some redstone dust right here on top of this block so right where the lamp is we're gonna put redstone dust on top of that block right where this lamp is we're gonna put redstone dust here we know there's one right in the middle and there's one right here you just got to follow where every single lamp is so right here is where another lamp is then right up here is where another lamp is and then right up here is where the other lamp is and we're going to do the same thing over here right here is where that lamp is and then right here is where that lamp is now right here is where it gets a little bit tricky because now we're going to actually have to add blocks to find where our lamps are so right here is where this lamp is so we're going to come right around underneath it go right underneath it a block come all the way around and put a block right here with redstone dust in it so as you can see this block this redstone dust will activate this block thus activating this lamp right here and then we're going to come up here find where this lamp is so right here is where the block is we're going to put a block right here with redstone dust on top of it like that the next lamp is right here so we're going to go right next to this block come down a block right here and put some redstone dust here next lamp is right there so we're just going to put a block up right here with some redstone dust it's going to be no matter what's going to go either into this block or this block guys around the lamp just keep that in mind the blocks that are right next to the lamps is where our redstone dust is going to act be activating it so right here where this lamp is we're going to have to put redstone dust going into the block that's right underneath the lamp this will activate the lamp and then we're going to do the same thing right here we're going to go right to the middle because we already know that middle lamp is right there put some redstone dust here go to block here with redstone dust here and then what i'm going to do is just swing down here because we got an understanding of what was going on from this down side area so right here's the lamp so we're going to put a block right here with redstone dust find the lamp up here there it is so we're going to put a block here with redstone dust so this will activate this block thus activating this lamp then right here is this lamp so we'll put a block here with redstone dust then there's a lamp here so we're going to put a block here with redstone dust and as you can see it does the same exact pattern on all the sides no matter what all right guys so i'm pretty sure i said this before but now we're going to hook up our comparators to our lamps i just wanted to put in some bench markers for us so we wouldn't get confused and we know exactly where our comparators are going to so we're going to start off with the bottom five ones we're going to work away from the bottom to the up well from the bottom up because it's going to get really crowded in here <laughs> it's going to get extremely crowded in here so off these five bottom comparators we're going to put blocks coming out and then put redstone dust coming out of every single one of them don't worry that they're connecting together because like i said your cauldron when it only has one thing of water in it will only give out one pulse as you can see there is no redstone going to this one i see the lights on here the lights on here but the light goes off here because there's only one pulse coming out of that cauldron so let's get rid of all this like that well I'm a, i was actually gonna need to do that so we'll start off with our middle comparator first we're gonna start with this one first so that means our middle light down here is going to come on first or you, it doesn't really matter you know it doesn't matter where your cauldron is because like i said once you sleep off the night you're just going to reset everything anyway all right guys so we're going to be starting off with this middle compared right here this one's actually i think the trickiest one to do even though it's really small i feel like it's the trickiest one to do so coming off the middle where this dust is on or you know yours might not be on it just you just need to know it's the middle we're going to come out a block like that and then down a block with an upside down slab it has to be an upside down slab right here then coming out of this redstone dust we're going to put a repeater going this way put a block in front of your repeater come down one block underneath it so skip a block put redstone dust here put a torch coming off the side of the of the block like that come down two blocks from this torch so one two put redstone dust right underneath it with a torch coming off the side and that will activate this lamp over here so as you can see the bottom lamp is on right now because right now we have power going to it if yours is not on that means you know the cauldron isn't there sending power through it like that so that's going to be our middle one right there so next what we're going to do is the two comparators right next to the middle comparator don't worry guys it's mirrored on both sides it won't change everything is mirrored around both sides so what we're going to do is coming off the sides from both of these we're going to put torches like that 
Then we're going to come underneath them two blocks. So one, uh, one, two. And we're going to put redstone dust right down here and put a torch going to this side. And we're going to have to do the same thing on this side. Come down underneath this torch twice. So one, two, delete this block, put redstone dust here with a torch coming off the side. And then we're just literally going to come right underneath the off torches. So one, two, and then we're just going to hook it right into here. So come down a block and put redstone dust going all the way up to this off torch. So now this one's hooked up and we'll do the same thing on this side. So where the off torch is, come down two blocks, one, two, come down one more block over. And we're going to put redstone dust coming down from this off torch all the way down to this lamp. So now these two lamps are hooked up. So the bottom three lamps are completely hooked up. Next, what we're going to do are the two outside comparators. So what I want you to do is coming off the block with the redstone dust, we're going to come out towards the right hand side over here like that with a repeater going this way, a block in front of your repeater, a block down from it, delete the middle block, put redstone dust right here. And all now we now all we have to do is just hook this redstone dust down to this redstone dust. So all I like to do is just this come down one block and then make pretty much a backwards R. So go like this. There we go. And then just hook it right in. There we go. So now that one's hooked up. Now we have to do is the same thing on this side right over here. So come down a block and out, put a repeater coming out of this redstone dust, put a block in front of it, put a block underneath it, come down a block and make your R shape right here. And then just hook all the redstone dust together. Boop, boop, boop and boop. So now all five of the bottom ones are completely hooked in. Next, what we're going to do are these two top comparators. So all you have to do is just come out three blocks towards the middle block right here. So come out, well, actually it's four. So coming out from this comparator right here, that's next to these five ones, come out four blocks. One, two, three. Oh no, it was three. I was right. It's three blocks. <laughs> so come out three blocks going towards the wall of your clock. Then right coming out of this comparator, we're going to put a repeater coming out of the comparator with redstone dust along here. Then we're going to come two blocks out this way. One, two with redstone dust along both of them. And then come down to this dust right here. So just come down one, two, and then hook the redstone all into it like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So swing over here and where this comparator is next to your bottom ones, we're just going to come out towards our clock like this, put a repeater coming out of the comparator, redstone dust coming out of the repeater, and then bring it right down to that dust. So one, two, and then down one, two like that, and then hook your redstone dust all the way in. So now those two are completely hooked in. Next, what we're going to do is the outside comparators right here. So we're going to come out four blocks, one, two, three, four, and then we're going to come down a block and go towards the right four. So one, two, three, and one more block right here, four, and then just hook it in. So dust, 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 dust. And right here, we're going to have to put a repeater coming out of your comparator like that. And now that's hooked in. Now, the reason why it looks so wompily and whipply right here is just because, like I said, I wanted to keep the clock no matter what. If you wanted to fill in the clock like this, you can go ahead and do it. There we go. So now we're going to do the same thing we did here on this side right over here. So coming out of the comparator right here, we're going to come out four blocks. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to come underneath it one block and then come out four blocks to the left. One, two, three, and four. And then hook all the redstone dust in. So boop, 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 like this, we could delete that block. It's not needed. Come over and then put a repeater coming out of this comparator like that. And now these two comparators are hooked up from the side. Next, we're going to do the inside comparators that are right above this one. And this one's literally the easiest one. You just got to go like this. Just go right towards the clock like we did down there and literally just bring it right over. That's all you have to do. This one's the easiest one to do. Then we just put a repeater right here and then put redstone dust going all the way around like that. Very easy one to do. And we're going to have to do the same thing on this side. So put a block coming out of your comparator all the way over to the side and then all the way over like that. Put a repeater coming out of the comparator and then put redstone dust going all the way to that redstone dust right down there. All right, guys. So the next comparators are right here, right above these ones. So what we're going to do is come out two blocks, one, two from this comparator. Then we're going to bring it right over to the side of the clock. So come all the way over to the side of the clock. Then we're going to come up a block and then over three to this one. So one, two, three like that. And now just hook everything and put a repeater coming out of this comparator. Put redstone dust going all the way around, hooking to this block right there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to come out three blocks, one, two, no, two blocks. I mean, one, two. And then we're going to come all the way down towards the clock like that. Come up a block and then over three, one, two, three, hook all our redstone dust in like that and put a repeater coming out of your comparator. 
all right guys so next is our last and final side comparator this one's actually uh, the hardest one out of all the ones we've done so far so literally all you have to do is just come all the way towards the clock like this and put a repeater coming out of the comparator put a block in front of the repeater and then right here we're just going to literally go all the way up to this redstone dust right here and put redstone dust going all the way down like that and literally the only reason i say this is the hardest one because this is the only one that might have an inconvenience with the other ones if we don't do this right here and we're gonna do the same thing on this side so right off this comparator come all the way towards our clock put a repeater coming out of the comparator a block in front of the repeater we could delete that once that's not needed and just go all the way up to our redstone dust right here and hook these all in now last but not least is our top five comparators right here so we're just going to do all of these together so we're going to come out of row of blocks put repeaters coming out of every single one of your comparators then coming off the middle one we'll do the middle one first and work our way out like we did down there we're going to put a block in front of the middle comparator right here put a torch on top of the block a block on top of the torch a torch on top of the block a block on top of the torch like that and then redstone dust right up here connecting to that like that next we're going to do are the two inside comparators right here next to the middle one we're just going to put a block in front of them like this put a block in front of both of them with a torch on top of them a block on top of the torch and then put a torch going off the side of the block here like this with blocks on top of them like come on hey there we go <laughs> and a block on top of this one and then literally just connect it up to there so just go right up one more right up one more and then connect the redstone dust going down to right above this block where this off torch will activate the redstone dust so do the same thing on this side right above the off torch just put redstone dust going like that and last but not least are the two outside ones so what we're going to do is i'm just going to do this side and then that side right over there so we're just going to put a block right in front of the repeater put a torch going to the side a block on top of the torch a torch going to the side again and then literally just bring your blocks right up to there so go up one and up one again and then just connect redstone dust from here going up to the left up to that last piece of redstone dust like that and do the same thing on this side so block in front of the repeater torch to the side block on top of the torch torch to the side block on top of the torch come up another block and put redstone dust connecting like that so now every single one of our repeaters should be in so if i cycle around the whole entire thing so you can go ahead and do the cycle around to make sure every lamp is working if i cycle around this one this bottom lamp over here should be on beautiful if i cycle around this one right here this lamp right over here to the side should be on so right over here this one should be on amazing <laughs> you know what i'm gonna uh i'm gonna just gonna build a little rig real quick just to show you each lamp so we don't have to keep going all the way around the sides just to make sure all our lamps are in and working so i'll be right back after i got my little rig put in all right guys so i set up my little rig but before i move on with the rig right here at the bottom where i told us to put a comparator right down here in this corner go ahead and do that now so coming out of that glass block put a comparator going that way this way into this block so make sure the comparator is going into this block right here like that now that what that's going to do is when the cauldron gets over here because there is no comparators to activate a light right here in this corner what it's going to do is when the cauldron gets here this is going to act activate our roundabout one more time pushing it over one so that's going to stop it from the 21st block because there's 21 blocks in here and we only need 20 well we have to have 20 so now that i got my little rig put up we're going to go ahead and press the button and make sure everything is working so click the button our light went around perfect click the button again light went around lights going around just make sure your light goes around no other lights are activating each other because if there's more than one light activating then obviously there's going to be something wrong. You, you accidentally hooked it up to one of your other lights somewhere during the build. So you might have to go back and fix something. So we're going to put it all the way around. I want to get to the spot where the, uh, where the comparator kicks in. So, okay. I already know everything's working. So like I said, just go around your whole thing, make sure everything is working. So right back here, like I said, once it gets to over where this comparator is, it's going to activate one more time. So we're already almost there. So if I click the button again, it goes all the way around, activate that light, click the button again, it goes all the way around, activate that light. We're almost there. there we go. All right, guys. So now that our cauldron's right above here, once I press the button, it should activate, thus activating this comparator down here, pushing it around one more time. But before we do that, do not click the button yet. This part is going to require a monostable circuit because we need it to pulse faster than a stone button can pulse. If you've already clicked it, then you notice that it already got stuck. Let me just show you what I mean. <laughs> you click the button, it's going to go around and it's going to get stuck like that. So if you've already clicked it, you've already fallen into this little pit hole right here. <laughs> so to easily just stop that from happening, all you have to do is just delete this comparator 
and we're gonna have to just put it back like this so what i wanted to do like i said i want to show you that it works so let me take out this cauldron right here in a bucket of water so we're gonna just delete the cauldron and we're gonna put it right back up here put the water in it uh where's my glass bottles i don't have glass bottles on me anymore where's my glass bottles get glass bottles out we're gonna take out our two things of water one two go ahead and put this glass block back right over here and like i said you're gonna need a monostable circuit for this part just to make sure it's working right because at the end in the end we're going to have a monostable circuit in the end so let's just make a quick uh little pulsing monostable circuit do i blocks out okay so right off this block we're gonna put a repeater going into it and we're gonna put a piston facing upwards with sand on top of it a block next to it with redstone dust right here so let me get out some redstone dust and a block on top of this redstone dust with a button so this will be a, a little makeshift monostable circuit we have right here so when i click this it should go down and then it should hit this comparator and activate one more time so if i click the button it goes around and then goes around one more time that stops that 21st block from happening we need only 20 blocks in here but we have 21 so see how it went twice that stops that 21st block from happening so let's get rid of this so i just wanted to make i just wanted to show you guys that yes it is working just fine so now what i'm going to do is just delete my rig and then we're going to hook up our actual hopper timer all right guys so now we're going to put in our hopper timer which is going to pretty much make this whole entire thing work so right over here where this block is we're just going to come right underneath our repeater and come over a block right here and then right inside this little spacing we're going to put a torch right on top of this block don't worry about everything activating right here it's going to fix itself soon so then what we're going to do is go right underneath it with another block so come underneath a block like that and we're going to put another torch in here like this now before we move on from here guys what i want you to do is just click this button right up here one more time this is just going to fix all our pistons real quick as you see there wasn't a block in front of this piston this piston should always have a block in front of it like that so just click this button once to fix that now we're going to go ahead and put in our hopper timer so coming off this bottom block right here we're going to come off to the right hand side like that put a repeater going into the side of the block on four ticks delay put a piston facing upwards with a piece of sand on it this will create a monostable circuit but it's actually going to be a falling edge monostable circuit then coming off the side of this one we're going to put a block like that with a piece of redstone dust on top of the block and we're going to put a block next to the redstone dust like that put a piece of redstone dust up here now we don't want these two connecting so just put a block like this to disconnect them then going into the block with this redstone dust right here let's just come out like that we're going to put a comparator put a comparator coming out of that block like that and then we're gonna come out three blocks from this comparator so one two three like so so i see it looks something like this right now then we're going to skip a block from this comparator so skip one and put a block up like this and we're going to take out our hoppers here so let me get out oh, i don't i don't even have hoppers <laughs> so take out your hoppers and we're going to put a hopper going into the side of this block right here and then delete this block and then put a hopper going into the side of this hopper like that next what we're going to do is put a comparator coming out of the side of this hopper right here put a block up in front of this comparator delete the block underneath it we're going to need that spacing if you want to hide all this stuff for your clock put a piece of redstone dust on top of this block then coming off this redstone dust we're going to put a sticky piston going this way with a redstone block on top of it and then coming out of this redstone dust over here we're going to put a regular piston like this next we're going to do swing onto the inside where this block is right here where this middle block is right here come on under here into the inside and we're going to put a torch coming off the side of this block and then we're gonna come over four blocks. No, I mean three blocks. One, two, three. And then come up a block next to this comparator. And we're gonna put a repeater coming out of this torch right here on four ticks delay. And put redstone dust going all the way up next to this piston right here. Now that what that's gonna do is make this pulse activating your hopper again because if we don't have this here then it's just going to stop working and we don't want that to happen we want it to keep going and going and going forever so that's our entire hopper timer system guys we are completely done with our hopper timer so now all we have to do is just put our items in now i'm using 75 items if you want to you can go to the video in the description below ethos video he has a good mathematical equation or formula let's just say a formula for how you could set up for the right time so if you want to change the time if you think it's a little bit off just go watch that video it's going to take a little bit of a little bit of math but if you have a calculator you'll be absolutely fine and you can figure out a better one now the reason why i'm using 75 items and not 82 items like a lot of people would think because 41 items is like 29.8 something items i mean it's 29 29.8 five three something like that seconds then you would think 82 items would be the closest to 60 seconds and that is true however you have to take into account you have to take into account this four tick delay repeater right here 
that's going to add time onto it. You have to take into to effect this four tick delay repeater. That's going to add time to it. And you also have to take into effect all these repeaters going around this thing, which is going to add time to it. So just keep that in mind. Stuff's going to add time to stuff. <laughs> so right here in each, in, in any one of these ones you want to, it doesn't really matter. Go inside one of these hoppers and take out 75 items. So I have a stack of dirt and 11, that's 75. And you can go into this hopper or this hopper doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go into this hopper right here, which is going to actually activate our light once. And I'm just going to chuck my items in. And I'm gonna chuck my items in here and now our hopper timer is moving it's never gonna stop guys that's gonna be going forever we'll never ever ever stop <laughs> all right guys so now all you have to do is add in the redstone so this resets itself every time we go to sleep so what I want you to do is come over down here to the right hand corner and off this side lamp where the side lamp is right here this is where our timer is gonna start we're gonna come out one block from here so right above this block pretty much we're gonna put a block right here put redstone dust coming out of it put a block right above right in front of that redstone dust with a torch on top of it next we're going to put a block coming out from the torch and we're going to put a repeater coming out of that torch right here like that on one tick delay and then we're going to put a sticky piston right in front of this one tick delay repeater like this and then we're going to put a block in front of it as you can see it already switched to over here i actually don't want it to be there right now so i'm going to click this button just one time to round it about like that i want the sticky piston extended right now so make sure your sticky piston is extended if your timer was there as well so just make sure it's extended right here next what i want you to do is coming out of this block right here going towards the left hand side towards this torch we're going to come out four blocks one two three four and we're going to put three repeaters going this way all on four ticks delay like that and then we're gonna come out six blocks going that way so one two three four five six blocks and we're gonna put some redstone dust right here and put four four repeaters going this way on four ticks delay so one two three four all on four ticks and then put a block up in front of them right here you can go ahead and delete this block it's not needed next what i want you to do is come over here next to this sticky piston and we're gonna put a block right here and we're gonna put a repeater coming going towards this way on one tick delay put a block in front of the repeater a block down from it and delete this block right here and put some redstone dust right inside this little cave area kind of deal <laughs> so it looks something like that then right behind this one tick delay repeater we're going to put a piston facing upwards with a piece of sand on top of it next we're going to put a block right behind the sand with some redstone dust and now all we have to do is just bring this redstone dust up that way seven blocks so come up a block right here with redstone dust on top of it and then we're gonna have to put a half slab right here right above this torch so this torch doesn't activate the redstone put an upside down slab right there and then come over one more and put redstone dust right here now the reason why i'm setting it up like this guys is so like i said if you want to hide if you're making your clock exactly this oh that's not white stained clay if you're making your clock exactly this height as you can see i can put blocks right above it and it won't affect it that's the reason why i'm doing it like this that's why it looks weird like this <laughs> then we're just going to come up a block right here like this and we have to go seven pieces of redstone dust guys so one two three four five so that means we have to go up two more blocks six and seven right there so six seven then right up right here on top of this seventh block we're going to put a daylight sensor now what this is going to do is activate this piston right down here making this go into a clockwards motion so if i put it right here as you see it activated it and it's going to be putting it in a clockwards motion now if you did this at night then obviously it's not going to do this but don't worry you kind of don't want this to do this right now so all you have to do is just come down here delete this piece of redstone dust until this stops and then put the redstone dust back in like that but as you can see, we went down seven blocks here with redstone dust and it activated this monostable circuit right here. So next, all we have to do is just hook this redstone dust right here down to this block right over here. So this is very easy to do. All you have to do is come out one block, put a repeater going this way on one tick delay. This is so this torch right here doesn't activate this right here and it will just womp everything up. <laughs> next, put a block right in front of the repeater, a block down from it, put redstone dust right underneath it. And pretty much right here where this middle uh you know where our, our middle is we're just going to come out one block well two actually one two and then bring it inwards towards the middle like that and bring redstone dust all the way along it and then just hook this area down to here so what i like to do is just come over one and then we're going to come down one like this and then just hook redstone dust right from here all the way up like that so guys for the last step all we have to do is hook this redstone dust right here down to this sticky piston now the reason why we have to do that is because when we sleep off the night and we want it to reset itself 
sometimes now this is a very small off chance but it can happen there's 75 items so it's kind of like a really big off chance but if it goes right at the right time right when the items are coming out of the hopper it can turn your hopper timer off and we don't want that to happen it's a very small chance but we still don't want it to happen so what we're going to do is right down here where this redstone dust is we're just going to come out a block like this put a repeater coming out of this block where the redstone dust is put a block in front of it put a block down underneath it put redstone dust here and then literally just bring this redstone dust down to this sticky piston so just put a block above the sticky piston a block over and up and then bring the redstone dust from the top of your sticky piston all the way up like that and you are completely done guys all right guys so now we are completely done that is it so now all we have to do is wait for our sun go to go to nighttime and then just sleep off the night and it will reset itself completely back to the right time so i'm just gonna wait till it's nighttime, guys and then i'm gonna sleep off the night oh yeah guys i almost forgot you can change the time for the reset because i know when you sleep it off if you notice it the reset timer goes pretty slow but the reason why i made it go that slow is because i i set it up so it pretty much goes right when you go to sleep you know when the nighttime rolls around when you're supposed to sleep i set it up so it goes this slow so it accurately gets back to the right time all the time so pretty much pretty much right when the light gets to about here is when you're you're able to go to bed i think it's right about here but it could also be right here i guess but right when it gets around these two lamps right here is the time you're able to finally go to sleep so i set up the time so it pretty much accurately goes around and stops right over here right at the right time for when you're done sleeping so if you want to you can make it go faster dep depending on like if you uh let's say you you have the daylight off and you're building something and let's say the light is like right over like here or something like that and you need to reset it and it's going nighttime it's going to take much longer for it to go all the way around so you can either you know you can set it up so it goes a little bit faster by switching around these repeaters right here you can make it go faster if you want to or you could do this you could just go inside here delete wherever your cauldron is put it to the time like i said right here right off these two lamps somewhere on these two lamps i mean this one or this one and then sleep off the night that depends on if you are building like a creative world and you got this clock inside your big creative world and you have to, you like to turn the daylight off just so you don't have to you know build through the night and things like that so that's another way you can reset it so i'm just getting that out of the way i'm still waiting for the <laughs> i'm literally been sitting here just waiting for this to go so that's all i wanted to say and now i'm just gonna cut the video out here and wait till we are at nighttime all right guys so it's almost nighttime so right now my cauldron is all the way down here and like i said before you want it to be right about here to get that perfect timing right about these two lights right here so what i'm going to do is come right back here and where my cauldron is i'm going to delete my cauldron put my block of glass here and then right here this middle this i'm pretty sure no it's this one right here no 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 it's this one right in here there it is this middle one right here activates the middle light for the side so what i'm gonna do is go right here put my cauldron here put water into it obviously i'm going to have to take out my glass bottle and we're gonna have to take out two things of water one two as you see it moved once it doesn't really matter guys like i said this light here or this light here is the perfect spot to get that perfect timing right so when the lights are right there i'm just gonna go to bed now i think i can go to bed now right uh nope not yet <laughs> so once we're able to sleep it will reset itself and put itself to the perfect timing so let me just delete this stuff we don't need this there we go and let me take out my clock there we go wow clock stack i didn't know clock stack <laughs> so i'm pretty sure we can go to bed now yep there we go so we just sleep off the night wake up our clock starts to reset itself in our hands and then it starts to reset itself down here so you'll just see the lights will start going through until it gets all the way over to there so it goes through keeps going come on reset yourself <laughs> it's gonna try oh man that's sand blocks no why do i why did i leave that there <laughs> so the light's gonna go all the way over here to, to this right here and it's going to stop itself as you see right here the piston pulls back stopping it and it resets itself to the perfect time beautiful <laughs> so there you guys go that is how you build my working clock with reset i guess i know it was a long video but if you did the whole entire thing I'm, that's that's pretty good <laughs> all right guys so if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace